Hey everyone, Wayne Fox here. A real quick video on a bug that seems to be happening right now. If you use Photoshop droplets, where you get the message that this application is damaged and should be moved to the trash, you try to make the droplet again and it just keeps giving you the message. I did a little digging and found out it's being caused by a date that's being incorrectly interpreted by the operating system, or maybe it's being interpreted correctly and it's being written into the application incorrectly. The good news is it's a 10 second fix. Uh, it can happen with other applications as well. I think I've seen it a couple of times. And sometimes when the developer compiles it or when it's uh, you download it, if a date's messed up, uh, you'll get this message. If you're pretty confident that the file isn't damaged because of the source or whatever, then this same fix works. Like I said, it takes about 10 seconds. Let's just explore what's causing it and the fix. Okay, so here's my Photoshop droplet folder. You'll notice a lot of these have this uh, can't run icon. These were droplets that were made before the M series of processors came out. And right now I don't have my machine set up to actually run emulation mode anymore. And so these won't run at all. I'm not sure they would have run in emulation mode anyway. These other ones I remade since I've been using the Mac. Uh, but now that I'm in Ventura, most of these won't run. For example, if I double click this one, you'll see this is the dialog box I get. Get DPI is damaged and can't be opened. You should move it to the trash. Notice here it says this file was downloaded on an unknown date. Now, I'm not sure what that means. I assume that's something that Adobe could possibly fix. The good news is it's a really easy fix. So if I want this droplet to run, if I right click on it and I say open, instead of double clicking, it gives me the same warning, but it lets me go ahead and open it. Now, you can see that it's open right now. Now, once you do that one time, it will run from then on. So if I run it again, I don't get that message anymore. So all you got to do is right click on it, go ahead and open it, force it open, and then quit it again. And that'll fix the problem. The operating system will allow it to run from then on. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure where the blame lies and I'm not sure I'm too worried about it. It's kind of a nuisance. I actually found this fairly really easily. If you look and you click on one of these, let's see if I can find one that gives me the message. If I click this question mark here, I get this explanation and it tells me what to do to fix it, right? And so I, it was pretty easy to find, pretty easy to fix. So that does it. I hope that was helpful. I know if you are watching this video, you probably have searched for that exact dialog box text, either in Google or in YouTube. And the fortunate thing, like I said, it is an easy fix. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. See ya.